Hey Hashlingers, how's it hashing? CryptoMain with another video. Today we're going to talk about loading simple mining operating system on a flash drive. Um, I'm actually probably going to do a couple of videos tonight and then I may never do another video again. It's, uh, <laughs> it takes up a lot of fucking time doing these videos. Uh, I wish I could do it all in one take, but you know, I got people that complain, they can hear me breathing, and so I've got to, you know, if I hear myself breathing, I've got to stop, and I've got to cut, and I've got to edit, or I've got to start over, whatever. What a pain in the ass. Anyways, trying to make it perfect for you guys. Um, but, uh, no, it's been fun anyways, and, and hopefully you guys are getting some something from it, and, uh, you know, uh, something useful anyways. But, so, I've got an opportunity here. Um, I'm going to start up, a, um, I'm building another rig, as you guys Probably, if you've watched my channel any, you know I'm working on an aluminum rig. And you'll see that video in just a little while after this one. And that bad boy's about 99% done, and she will be online tonight. Um, so, anyways, let's get back to the simple mining operating system. Um, first thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to simple mining. All right, uh, there's going to be a couple things you're going to need. You need your flash drive. Um, I don't know what the minimum requirement is, but I use a uh, I use a 64 64 gig little mini drive. Um, they they kind of stay out of the way, and uh, you know, especially with your rigs, you don't know what you know if you're mov moving stuff around, and you know you don't want to snap one off or I don't know get it caught on something. So I use the small one. It kind of stays out of sight, out of mind. Um, Anyway, so you need your uh, you need your flash drive, and then you need to download this tool right here. This Etcher tool. There are many other tools. If you have already have an ISO burning tool that you love and enjoy, well then, by all means, go ahead and use it. Uh, I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to cruise on over here now, and let's see where it is. Yeah, it's not there. Ah, the old crypto folder. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to fire off Etcher. I might have even I might have even started it twice, but oh well, you know, looks like I did. So I'm guaranteed to get this flash drive uh, flashed. All right, so you've got your Etcher tool. You open it up. Uh, let's go back over here to Simple Mining. And we're going to choose our image. All right. If you're using AMD cards, you're going to want to use one of these R or RX series. Okay. Uh, NV series, of course, that's for NVIDIA. It looks like now they have the same same image for the RX and the NV. So you'll just click on this guy. It'll open up. Tell it where you want it to where you want it to save. All that good stuff. Looks like it's what 1.4 gig. I've already got it downloaded, so enough of that shit. Let's just go ahead and cancel this. All right. So we're going to select our... Well, I'll tell you what. Now let's go ahead and pop in our brand new uh, flash drive here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it's sparks or smoke. Okay. Now well, mine comes with this SanDisk Secure BS. Here we go. Let's just, let's just get rid of that because we don't need it. All right, so we got our flash drive in, and now we need to select an image. So we're going to go to wherever we save that image, and mine already happens to be waiting for me. All right, so we're going to double click on that. It will automat automatically have found your your flash drive. Um, so if it's not, you can change it to. I don't know if you have multiple flash drives hanging out of your PC or laptop or whatever. Choose the new one. And uh, so you've got your you got your image. You got your device that you want to burn that image to. And then go ahead and hit flash. If you're using Windows, you may get something like that. Just hit yes and let it go. All right. Now this process will will take a little while. Uh, it all depends on your PC how quickly this will this will go. Um, the total thing is first it's got to burn it, and then once it has burned it to the flash drive, 
then it's uh, going to verify it. And so it takes even longer. But it's just a uh, small price to pay, I guess. I don't really know what to talk about now while this is doing that. Um, if there was some way I could get a camera to show you guys, I would show you my rig. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take a video of my current rig and uh, let you guys see the progress of that. And with all my insane video YouTube knowledge, I'll splice it in here in, uh, with some Jeopardy music. And uh, no, there's not a chance that I do that actually. With the Jeopardy music, anyways, there's there's a slight chance that I do go ahead and put in splice in another video. But of course, I'll have to figure out how to do that, and that could be days. All right, so I will stop. All right, uh, the flash is complete. You may get a video or a screen that looks like this. It'll ask you to format the drive. Do not format the drive, the disk. Just hit cancel. Who cares what that says? Just hit OK. And you should be good to go. Uh, you can go ahead and close out your etcher now. And you may get this a couple of times. Just keep hitting that cancel button. Now there's really, if you go to like eject, it'll say that there's nothing there. So it's safe to eject. Go ahead and eject it. Let's put it back in. And once more. It's saying there's a problem. Let's format it. No, we're not going to format it. Okay. And it brings you to what's on your drive. You got your config text. Go ahead and open that. Remove this right here. Admin Simple Mind is just a default. Okay. And put in your own email address. And then when that is done, click Save. and safely exit your uh, eject your hardware and then it's ready to go and I will put that in another video here and I'll sh try to splice all those together and, and show you the, the progress of it alright guys see you in the next one